nice open closet. Bathrooms efficiently laid out. My stateroom. Eighth floor, D-132. I'm traveling by myself on this cruise. My camera's sitting on a bench. At 11 p.m. we left on March 25th. It's about 5.05 in the morning on the 30th of March. And whatever you see there is lights and uh, buoys kind of guiding us in. I don't mind candid uh, audience shots. <laughs> Everybody dodges under and around yeah. and stuff, and I say, well, I really want to get the odd that there actually are people on the yeah, boat. That you're know? not by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> the boats are very picturesque. Yeah, they are. Rounded. Mm -hmm. Making the approach to the first set of locks here in the Panama Canal, coming from the Atlantic side. Got two locks, which the ship will be raised in three consecutive steps, 85 feet above sea level. If you look straight ahead now, you will get to see a truck coming across or driving across the gates there. Those are road gates that are used to move equipment and vehicles here across the Panama Canal on the Atlantic side. There are no bridges on this side. Don't you? No. We have a one-way traffic. You see now the road gates being open. Yeah. We'll open these gates. For our vessel to the yeah. first yeah. step along the lower chain. Okay, that's good. We will get to see what it is. We are starting to work up here on the 25 to 90. slowly here into the first step in the lower chamber. Remember leaving just about two feet on each side. Two ships in the same chamber at the same time if the overall length of both is less than 800. Now they're getting to the critical uh, entry of this large along with the ship in Aruba from Haitian Airlines. The airship, two tractors. But this side is pretty tall. The other side is not. That clearance is just incredible. Two inches or something. <laughs> I think that's a close clearance.
There's the lake uh, that we're going to. There's the next boat coming. It can't be much bigger than the one to our left. Or it won't fit. <laughs> They have these pulley things yeah. that help keep the force right or yes, something. A whole bunch of Takes up the slack. <laughs> oh, they get it room for when they go up the hill. So here's the gate, probably. I see they got gears. So he's got the gear. Oh, it doesn't mess around. I got it down like clockwork. We can have a hundred feet clearance on this side and a hundred feet on the front. That gives us about 800 plus 200 gives a thousand feet to the length of the lock. About an hour later, and we're out on Gatun Lake. Just walked over here from where I was, you know, down on the eighth deck. This is the eleventh.
coming near that lock. I don't know what this lock's called. I do get more of that feeling for a rainforest a little later in the afternoon you know the real high sky don't you worry about a thing cause every little thing is gonna be all right singing don't worry Every little thing is gonna be all right. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is gonna be all right. skyline of Panama City. Uh, we're not going to be going there. there. There is a tour that could go there. I decided against it. We're at the um, Miraflores Lock tonight. Probably somewhere around 6.30 p.m. Mayor Flores Locks, the Pacific sector of the Panama Canal. We're observing right now a southbound and a northbound transit. Look on the west lane to your left-hand side. We have a container vessel clearing the areas of the lower lock chamber. And we also have another reefer, smaller size refrigerated cargo vessel coming in on the east lane. During the evening hours, contrary to what you saw early this morning when you were entering the two locks on the Atlantic sector, or more or less around 6.30 this morning, you saw all the ships and next to yours was another beautiful cruise ship, the Infinity. Those ships were all coming towards the Pacific. In the morning, we receive all the vessels from ocean level and we raise them to the level of the artificial lake Gatun to go towards the lake afternoon from the lake we take the vessels to go out to the ocean during the evening hours we proceed with the smaller size vessels using both lanes simultaneously in opposite directions They say these are smaller vessels than mine. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as the vessel is fully inside the chamber, we'll proceed with closing the miter gates behind it, and we're going to take the water from the right-hand side, upper lock chamber, and drain it to the system of tunnels. Now, uh, looking nice and beautiful, the Regal Princess today, that cruise ship is paying a little bit over $173,000. Towing locomotive and the new crew that's now coming in to assist the vessel. Different signals, they also have a radio inside where they listen to the instructions given by the pilot or the lock master. They have a foot pedal which they press twice indicating we have acknowledged, there you heard it, acknowledge the instruction given by the pilot, they proceed. Bring it more than twice and it means they're having problems with the locomotives. They will not pick up the radio and talk to the pilot, they will simply communicate with the lock master. Simulator uh, for actual training pilots to make it through. Don't 
be all right Singing, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be all right